Hey, what's up? I'm Aaron of spacefood.ca, Ableton lessons served fresh. And um, in this video, I'd like to answer your question about how you can use your computer's QWERTY keyboard, the keyboard that you type on, as a piano or a MIDI controller with just a small part of my core Ableton group course that you can find on spacefood.ca or by pressing the link below this video. Just remember that you can use the discount code $25 to get um, the whole course and the live online coaching sessions for just a little less. So if you're ready, let's jump into the content. If you don't have a MIDI controller, you can go ahead and press that QWERTY keyboard button in the top right hand corner of the interface and that will allow you to use your computer's QWERTY keyboard, the keyboard that you use for typing, as if you're using a piano MIDI keyboard. So if you look at the keys between A and L, you can visualize those as being the white keys on a keyboard. Whereas W, E, T, Y, and U, and O are the black keys on a keyboard, the sharps and flats. Now below the white keys on this MIDI keyboard, Z and X will increase and decrease your octave range, and C and V will increase and decrease the velocity that you're hitting those notes since your computer keyboard keys aren't velocity sensitive. If you'd like to see which octave or what velocity setting your QWERTY keyboard is currently set to, look down in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen into that sort of heads-up display area. As you increase and decrease the velocity or the octave, you'll be able to see information on which octave and, and what the velocity number is right down at the bottom there. So of course the highest velocity, 127, will make the loudest possible note that you can produce on that instrument that you're plugging those MIDI notes into. And then if you move that all the way down to one, then you're gonna get a very quiet sound. All right, that's it for that one. And if you enjoy my content, I just ask that you'll hit that little subscribe button or head over to spacefood.ca to check out that group course. But until the next one, I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you soon. Peace.